Hello guys, so I just wanted to kind of share with you um, how we're going to do our notebooks this year. If you've never been in my class, obviously you don't know how to do this, um, but those who were in my class last year, we have done um, notebooks where I have asked you to get a composition notebook and we wrote bell ringers in there and kind of glued our notes in and stuff. Um, this year we're going to do digital since y'all have computers and things like that. There's no reason for us to use paper, so we are going to do this digitally. Okay, so I'm going to show you how to do this. It's already set up for you, but I just kind of wanted to give you a preview um, so that you could um, see how this works so that when you come into class next, you already know how to get where you're supposed to be. Okay, so I've got a notebook for every single class. You're going to get your own copy of your notebook and you're going to use it throughout the year. Okay. There's no need for you to turn it in, um, but because each of you have a copy that's been assigned, I can go in there periodically and I can look at your notebook to make sure that you're actually, you know, contributing things like that. Okay. So this is the one for principles of health science. If you haven't ever noticed that I do themes like color themes with each of my classes, really just to keep myself kind of um, organized, but because this has a blue, color to it. It's obvious. It's my principles of health science one. Okay. So just real quick, this one's midterm. Midterm is always green. World health research is always uh, yellow. And then um, patho is red. Okay. So looking at this, this is your cover of your notebook. Okay. So if you want to decorate the cover of your notebook, that's cool. If you want to put like little stickers and stuff, you can do the transparent stuff that we have kind of used with our scenes so that you can put stickers on your notebook. If you don't even like the cover, you can actually remove it. Okay, now below it, it looks like notebook paper, but again, you can just paste yourself a photo on the top if you want. You can also change this to say, like your name is notebook, or you can change it to PHS notebook or whatever class you're in, okay? But it, they all just say digital notebook on it, okay? So moving to the next page, um, we have what's called the index, and the index has all of the different units for your class. Now, um, midterm, you have 13 units because we move through material a lot faster, and then World Health and Patho each have 10, okay? So each of these are hyperlinked to the particular beginning of the unit. So if I clicked on Unit 3 here, it would take me to Unit 3. Okay. That way, when we start filling up our notebook and our notebook becomes bigger, you don't have to you don't have to go through all of the slides over here. You can just click, say we're in unit seven. You can click on unit seven, and you can get there a lot faster. Okay, um, your syllabus is right here as well. Now I realize it's really small, so if you click on it, it will actually take you to the syllabus. Okay, so you just click on the picture and it'll take you to the syllabus there, okay? So moving to this one, if you notice going back to the index, our first unit, kind of, is our online unit. And our online unit is covering professionalism. And we're doing that with all of my classes. Um, so everybody has a professionalism section in their notebook, okay? So here you have the beginning section your next slide is going to be room for your bell ringer, okay? So you have example data up here, example question, example answer, okay? So you would click in here and you would type in Wednesday, August 26th, okay? And then for your question, you would type in Ms. Reynolds a question. So whatever the question is that I have for you, you're going to type it in here. Okay. And then you're going to answer it. So you're going to say my answer is blah, blah, blah. Okay. Now it, it may not always be text like this. Um, I may have you do something different, but we'll kind of, when we get there. Okay. Now, notice that it immediately jumps to unit one. Well, I can tell you that you're going to have three separate bell ringers before you go into your unit one. Okay. So for the next day, you can either right click and say duplicate slide. 
And now all you have to do is edit the text boxes or you can control C, control V and you can get a new slide that way. Okay, so either way, doesn't matter. Okay, but as you go through this, you have a unit and you have your example and you'll just kind of go through it like that. Okay, now the only difference between the notebooks, um, obviously there's color, here's midterm. So like I said, they have 13 units, but then they also have their professionalism. They have their syllabus. Um, here is World Health Research. You'll have 10 units. There's your professionalism and your syllabus. Patho, the only difference is that you get a lab value sheet, okay? With the content that we go over, it's very critical that you understand lab values. So I have this in here for you. So again, if you click on the photo down here, you can open up the file for um, lab values, okay? Other than that, that is about the only difference between each of the notebooks. Um, so when you get into class next, um, I'm going to have this posted for you. You're going to go ahead and open it up. Come to this first bell ringer here, type that in, type the question and type your answer. If you have any other questions, email me and let me know. Thanks.